You, you know, it's weird. I sometimes forget. I don't use Arch Linux. I haven't used Arch Linux in like a year. I know there's this meme out there that I do, or in fact that I am the quintessential Arch user, but that's just, that's not true. I don't use Arch. Uh, and I don't really plan on ever using it again. Uh, the distribution I actually use is this right here, Artix, Artix Linux, if you go to artixlinux.org. And um, I, I sort of installed it. First off, what is it? Now, if you're just out there, you want to install a cool distribution or something like that. Artix Linux, actually, even if you're a newbie, this might be a, an excellent distribution to install because it hits everything exactly perfectly. Okay, But if you just want to look cool on the internet, it has all the perks of Arch. It's just like having Arch. But you also, it's, it's calling card is that it does not have SoystemD, as it says, simple, fast, systemd free. So I, you, you guys know, if you've watched my channel for a while, um, I'm not against systemd really. I, um, I, I don't know, maybe you're a newbie, you don't know what this is. Basically, it's this init system that gradually started taking over uh, all these other processes on the machine. And some people think it's terrible and bloat and evil. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I've even put out videos basically simping for systemd saying it's not really that bad. It's not a big problem, especially for new users. Um, but, uh, you know, Artix is so a lot of the people who use Artix are these people who are just really against systemd um, or at least somewhat against it. And I'm not really one of them. But I will say that I have installed and run Artix for around a year or so. And uh, it, it works fine. I, I And again, I. I forget that I use it sometimes. I sort of feel like, because the experience, it, it has all the benefits of using Arch. It is just, um, yeah, I mean, it's just basically the same thing. There's some minor differences. I'll, I'll talk about a couple of them in this video. Uh, anyway, if you, want to, if you want to go to it, now here's the nice thing. And now it works as an Arch equivalent. Again, if you just want to have a system without system D, uh, may, maybe you don't like something about system D. Maybe again, you just want to look cool on the internet. But it's also potentially very good for people who have not used Linux before because, well, we're, I should say where Artix came from is um, there were people who made this fork of Arch Linux and they called it Arch OpenRC. And there were these people who made a, a similar, of course, running OpenRC as an init system. Uh, and there were these people who were running Ma or who forked Manjaro into a Manjaro OpenRC. And they sort of joined forces for Arch or Ar Artix Linux. Um, but uh, one of the things about that is, of course, they have the base installs. So, you know, I use the run it version of this, but they have base installs um, of uh, if you want to install it like Arch Linux. But additionally, like Manjaro, if you want a cinnamon desktop, you want to you want to install it and have a desktop configured by default. You can do that as well. They have cinnamon, XFCE, uh, Plasma, whatever you want. Uh, they have some community versions. Uh, I wonder what that's supposed to be, GTK? That's very n nondescript, but anyway. Um, so this is one of the, I know I did this video uh, around a week or so ago on Manjaro, and one of the reasons I recommend Manjaro usually for new users is it has a lot of the benefits of Arch, but it also, you know, you can just install a graphical environment if you don't know how to do it. But now that I think about it, again, now that I remember that I use Artix and that it actually works great, um, it might actually be even better to just use Artix instead because Manjaro does add in some stuff that I don't necessarily like. Um, again, just like weird wrappers and hooks on Pac-Man and they, they throw a bunch of cruft in there that is unnecessary. Whereas it, it probably would be just as e easy to install, uh, you know, one of these, de like a cinnamon desktop, okay? Uh, so I should be clear, I, I said that Artix doesn't have System D. You might notice here, if you read it, that it you actually have three different varieties of Artix. Now, for the most part, they're gonna work the same way, but um, they have OpenRC, um, the, the OpenRC in its system, that I think that's really their default. Uh, they also have Runit and S6. I have never used S6 in my life. I have used both OpenRC and Runit quite a good deal, and the version I run is actually Runit. Uh, I really like Run It because um, now I should say if you're your thing if you've never used any of these and you're trying to make up your mind, uh, the safest in this case might be OpenRC because it's more default. Um, but you know if you could figure out Run It pretty easily, it's basically the same concept. 
um, you know, you just look up on the Artix wiki and they'll tell you how, tell you how to work it. Um, but uh, so they, you do have three different versions of it, which is pretty cool. Uh, but of course, the packages are basically the same way. I mean, uh, I mean, they're the same repositories and stuff, just a little couple differences. I mean, just to show you, here's an example. You know, let's say. Um, so for any package that your init system might be starting for you, um, let's say network manager, there's going to be the network manager package. I'm not quite sure. I think this might come with the OpenRC. I don't know. Is there a package called uh, network manager OpenRC? Is that how they do it? Uh, okay. Yeah. Um, so basically how they do it is there's a network manager package. And if you're running run it, you also install network manager hyphen run it. And that will give you the ability to, to auto start that or, you know, hyphen open RC if you're using that. I don't know. Maybe there's, maybe that's how they do S6. I don't even know how S6 works. Okay. Yeah. That is how they do it. Um, so within the, their repositories actually keep all these different things. Now, 99% of the time, it's not really going to matter what in this init system you're running. Uh, just as long as you can dab on system D uh, users, that's the important thing. Um, now in run it, I'll go ahead and say, I think they keep their Etsy run it SV. Yeah, that's it. So here you see all these little things that I have, all the um, things that I can start. I don't know what the name is for them. The profiles of programs I can start with my init system, um, you know, Tor, MPD. I don't know why I have light DM installed. Do I have light DM installed? Okay, maybe that's not its package name. Who cares? Um, but anyway, so if you're a newbie, I would probably go with OpenRC. Although if you went with Run It, I, I think Run It's a little better. It's a little quicker on startup and stuff like that. OpenRC, um, like, uh, well, it, okay. I don't think OpenRC parallelizes things at startup, so it might take a little longer. You can tell it to do, you can change the configuration file, but there are other little things about Run It that make me prefer it. And I've never tried S6. Maybe it's good. Uh, or maybe it's not pronounced S6. Is it? I don't know. You never know with these computer programs nowadays. I, I don't know. I just don't know anything about it. Um, but yeah, so Artix as a review, um, I can say that I've used it for a year and it is so, uh, it, I guess the best testimony I can give it is that it works so well, I forget that I'm running it. And I think I'm just running Arch or some other distribution. You don't think about it. That's usually the good sign of a good distribution. I've actually said this about Arch. Um, because once you install Arch Linux, you know, you don't really think that much about, um, okay, my face is out of sync again. Oh, it's so annoying. Um, you don't really think about it once you have it installed. Um, but, um, uh, so yeah, I guess that's about it. Um, yeah, that's about it. I think I might do a little video installing it or something like that. Actually, I, I think I was going to, did I set these to download? Yeah, I think I had it. I think I'm going to have it download the Cinnamon desktop just because why not? I'm going to try it out. You know, back in the day, I will say that here's here's a little boomer reminiscence, okay? Um, back before I came to YouTube, or I mean, it's not really about me. Back when I started YouTube, um, every like every Linux channel, what they did just nonstop is distro reviews, distro reviews, distro reviews, distro reviews. And like, I, I don't know, like it was just so annoying to me. Like I, I never did those videos. This is not, I don't know if you want to even call this a distro review here, but I, I sort of feel weird even talking about it, but that, that's a weird thing. And it still get click. It still gets clicks, mind you. Uh, if you just do a vi video, like on like, Oh, Ubuntu versus Arch Linux or something like that. That's like catnip to people. And the weird thing is, all right, I'm just going to ramble a little bit because why not? I don't know. Um, it, it's funny because like the comments you get in videos like this are so interesting because uh, people just want to like tell you their story. Oh, I, I installed Ubuntu and then for three weeks I did this and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, I, I don't, how does this elicit? I, I, we're just talking about distributions and you're just, I don't know, sharing your life story with us or something. I don't, I don't know. That's just, I'll never understand, uh, the, the sort of, I, maybe it's just that, that special area where you're lo learning about technology and you just want to talk about it all the time. Okay. That maybe that's it. Um, but either way, if you're in that state, art, Artix Linux is a good distribution to try. If you are a power user and you just want to dab on people cause you don't use Soystem D, uh, Artix Linux is also an excellent distribution. Um, I, I like it more than Arch. I mean, it's not that much different to 
uh, for me to have a really, really strong opinion, but it's good. And um, the, basically everything apl that applies to Arch, uh, so long as it's not like a system D specific thing applies to this. Um, so I highly recommend it. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll probably do some kind of installation video uh, for this, but yeah, see you guys next time. Can you believe this? Look at that. 9.58. All right, now I'm over 10 minutes. That'll be enough. I got to get my ad cummies. See you guys next time.